Hey guys, and welcome to this scale. So today we're going to be looking at keywordfinder.ai, the latest keyword research tool that I found extremely helpful. And we will compare that to low fruits because some of you noted the similarities. So we will dive deep into the tools comparison, looking at the credits that you get on a free trial, the number of keywords you can generate based off of a single seed, then the technology behind the weak spots, additional features, and finally the pricing. Let's get started. So let's start with low fruits. I've just signed up with a free trial. You get 10 credits. With Keyword Finder, you get 100 credits, and this is a unique offer you will not see anywhere else. So just by using my link, you get an opportunity to find 100 extremely valuable low condition keywords. So this is 10 and this is 100. That's an easy one. Now let's try and evaluate the actual keyword fashion mechanism. Let's go to the keyword finder here. Let's use our chiropractors in Dallas example. And we'll do the same here, generate and generate. And this keyword generation in both of the tools is not spending any credits. So these are essentially free keywords, both in low fruits and in keywordfinder.ai. So 52 keyword ideas found with low fruits. Let's access them. And 238 keywords found in Keyword Finder. So 52 versus 238. Now let's actually look at something that both tools are famous for. I mean the weak spots. I'm just gonna waste the majority of the credits and analyze the first 10 keywords that I get. If you want a better way of doing that, I advise you to re-watch my previous Keyword Finder AI video. There I'm showing a complete workflow of how you can save your credits as much as possible while doing pre-filtering. So both sets of keywords have been analyzed. And low fruits is extremely fast and it's showing us uh, the, uh, the composite index. So these are considered to be weak spots, these are not. And we are getting some information about the domain rating of some of the websites that are ranking. And you can see that uh, one is position 3, one is position 5, 8 and 9. And that's pretty much the only information you get from this, apart from the volume. You are not even getting a lot of CPC numbers here. And yes, you can base your decision off of that, but that's only one dimension. Now let's take a look at the Keyword Finder. And with the Keyword Finder, you are getting all the information like the weak spot index, the monthly volume, the CBC, and you are getting a lot of information here. So yes, you will get the weak spots, which are light green and dark green, but you are also getting the kind of platforms this is using. So this is using Reddit, this is using Quora. This keyword is ranking on LinkedIn, or LinkedIn is ranking for that keyword rather. You get Instagram as well. And this allows you to do this very interesting thing. So you can go to filters, filter by site icon, and say you want all the quarters. And here, two of these keywords are ranking on Quora. If you want to mix Reddit in here, you are getting four keywords. And if you add LinkedIn, you are getting five of the keywords. So this is not really possible inside of the Keyword Finder. I mean, you can probably select the forms, but not the actual platforms. Now, this is kind of possible with low fruits if you use smart filtering. But again, we're not getting a lot of information here. So I would have to score this weak spot feature as 7 out of 10. And for the keyword finder, this would be 10 out of 10. Now to the additional features. It's always very difficult to compare tools based on features, especially if features differ. Uh, you can see that here you have a ranker or a tracker, and so this stands out as the only feature that the Keyword Finder does not have. Yes, you can export based on domain, you can import your lists, and this is all possible inside of the Keyword Finder. You can import lists, you can use website as a source of keywords, but Keyword Finder has a lot of unique features. For example, these are low competition keywords, so you can add them to chat, and run this little prompt. Give me 10 low competition keywords under 5 have the same semantic value, the same search intent. Okay. Now what you can do is hover over these keywords 
add keywords and now all these keywords are new so they've been generated from scratch they did not previously exist you can add them to the database and analyze and these are the so-called proxy keywords so they are based on the low competition high value keywords that you already have other features include keyword briefs so you can create a very robust very detailed keyword brief that shows the content gap and basically acts as a prompt to write your article also you can go to the wix spot recipe and depending on your niche you can customize this i have two settings i have the domain less than 20 wix spot recipe which is the default one and i also have the custom kjra filter which only shows me the keywords if they are not in the h1 or the h2s which is one of the better competition proxies because if the article does not have the keyword in the url that means that with 100 percent certainty it's not trying to rank for that specific keyword and that's always an opportunity so having said that i would score five out of ten as far as the additional features with low fruits and i would go seven out of ten for the keyword finder now finally for the pricing the pricing for the low fruits is 30 bucks for 300 credits per month and the keyword finder pricing is 99 dollars for 1500 credits which is only a steeper site but if you follow this video and the one that i recorded before you can take full advantage of a free trial get 100 free keywords and create your new website or start ranking very fast this pricing would be 8 out of 10 and the keyword finder pricing would be 5 out of 10 although uh, for this price keyword finder it immediately packs in a lot more features that are extremely extremely helpful based on this analysis i actually prefer keywordfinder.ai versus low fruits i wish keyword finder had lower price tag because it beats low fruits on every other criteria it has more free credits it gives you way 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 more keywords it's better with weak spots it has lots more customization features, keyword briefs, online chat, customizable weak spot recipe. So the only con would be the price. Hope this video was helpful. Go check out Keyword Finder. If you use my link, you get 100 credits for free. No strings attached. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.